let's quickly look at how to add and verify a domain on our business manager in this section please pay close attention and let's get started as you can see here i'm on on my home page so for you to add your domain and verify your domain on your business manager all you have to do is to click on this ads manager so let's click on it and allow it to come up so you are going to get this interface where it says good evening is the way and uh, welcome blah 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 so when you go here as you can see this is my profile picture or you are going to see your profile picture in your case so we're going to click on this when you click on it you will see business accounts if you have one business account available you are going to see it down here if you have two or more than you are going to see it down here so all you have to do is to select the right business account you are going to or you want to add your domain and verify in our case, we are going to be using this Ninja Blitz Media because this is the business account we all created together in the other section. So right here, this is it here. You are going to click on this settings icon. Where you see this settings icon, you are going to click on it. This simply means business settings. You are going to click on it and allow it to come up. So when you click on it, you get this pretty interface. So now you are going to click down, keep scrolling down to where you will see brand safety and suitability click on this brand safety and suitability then you will see domains then click on this domain here it says ninja blitz media doesn't have any domain yet manage your domains all the domains you've added to your business manager will be listed here so you're going to click on this add to add your domain so you have two options one says request access to a domain and then Two says create a new domain. If you already have another ad, uh, another business account, you can equally use this request access to request access. But in our case, we are going to be creating a new one. So you click on create a new domain. Now you are going to add your website domain. So this is the website I want to use and run ad. So I'm going to copy my website domain. All right. So let's copy everything. Let's see. So here if you try to copy everything it's not going to go this way it will show you an error message let's try it and see as you can see it's showing this red simply means there's a problem here so in your case all you have to do is to remove this this mark and then clean the w uh, the https protocol and then make sure everything is like this if your domain is ninjasound.com you are going to use it this is a subdomain and uh, that is the reason why you are seeing this dot here store.ninjasound.com.ng so i'm going to click add so make sure you add your website domain whatever be your website domain be it www.whatever.xyz.club.online.live anything just go ahead and add it here and then click on add so right here this is the verification part We've added our domain and this is the verification part. As you can see right here, it's written boldly on a red ink that uh, this website is not verified. So what are we going to do to verify this is pretty easy. Please stay tuned and watch us do this together. All right. So when you go down, you have three or four options to verify your domain. You have four options to verify that this domain simply or uh, rightly belongs to you. The first option is using a, 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 a meta tag. Second one is to use a meta tag in your header or your body footer. And then the, <coughs> the third one says after you've published the home page, blah, 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 blah. So in our case, we're not going to be using any of this. We are going to be using this particular option here. Okay. We are going to be using this right here. The first option which says copy this meta tag. So we are going to copy this meta tag right here. Okay. It's already copied. You can just click on it to copy to your clipboard or you go ahead and do the normal copy and uh, it will copy so once you copy this to your clipboard or let's just do the normal one you're going to copy this and they are going to go to your website on your website download this plugin called uh, insert header and footer if you are conversant with editing your team you can go ahead and edit your team and make sure you paste this code on the header section of your team but to make it more easier and for you not to break the codes that connect to your team go ahead and install insert header and footer plugin when you start 
or when you install that insert header and footer plugin this is the settings right here you come to code editor co sorry code snippet when you go to co code snippet you are going to see this header and footer option right so go ahead and click on it so this is it so i have access to my header what this plugin does is that it's going to give you a unique and a blank space for your header section and footer and the body section so if there's any code you want to add to your site that requires the use of the header the body or the footer this plugin makes it more easier for you because editing your wordpress team or whichever website you are using team is if you are not uh, if you are not grounded in the field when it comes to coding and all that you might go ahead and uh, mix things up in your website so that is why i recommend this plugin insert header and footer plugin install it and then go ahead and paste the code here you paste it what next you're going to click on save all right so when you click on save ensure you you save it rightly then go back to your business settings so when we go to business settings you're going to see option to verify so you're going to click on verify domain let's watch and see what will happen it's loading up it said unable to verify the domain what is the problem let's see let's see let's see what is the problem all right okay let's see again it's pretty easy all right i think uh, this is coming from my website i have a catching plugin that so the the catching plugin i'm using is, is what is delaying this verification but in your case once you put that code and click on verify it will get verified automatically but let me use another website so that you guys will see exactly how this works let's use this website oh uh, sorry let's use this quickly to verify a domain all right okay so let's add this website quickly and let me show you guys how this verification works so let's go to add a new domain sorry add a new domain let me quickly do this sharply so you guys will see how it works i've added this let me copy it and head over to my header insert header and footer just want to show you guys how this works all right okay save changes and then go to, go back to my business and then click on verify domain let's see As you can see, it said domain is verified. Lenia.online is verified. So it's, it's, it's as simple as this. This is how you add your domain and verify. It's very, very, very simple. The reason why this one refused to uh, get verified is because of my plugin. It is a plugin I use in my website. So whenever I make any changes, it takes about five minutes for the changes to reflect. That is why it's not verified. Let's see if we, if we do verify now. Let's watch. I don't think it to verify because the plugin have to i have to stay for like five minutes and above for me to be able to verify so in your case it's going to get verified just like this as you can see here this domain is already verified and once it's verified you see this green icon sorry this green button here showing you that your domain is already verified or has been verified so guys this is how to add and verify your domain on your business manager or your business account so please stay tuned and uh, let's move to the next section